It is a welterweight matchup between Jake Ellenberger and George Rush St. Pierre. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. GSP is four years the elder. He is two inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. Here we go, first one, you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go. Oh, he missed that kick. Watch the shot here, Joe. Connects there with the punch. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, strong punch wow. there. Wow. Wow. Big shot to the left. He's hurt. Spin to the back. Oh! Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. He's inside control here. Really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Excellent movement here on the ground. Inside control once again. <laughs> Working from the mounted crucifix. Getting himself into a position to attack with the Americana. He's got that arm secured. He's got the elbow to the body. Very close here. He might get a finish here. And his arm's free. Wow, very close. Side control. Oh, elbow to the head there by Ellenberg. In half guard. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the bottom. Both fighters back to their feet now. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Get up. Look at this. Right back to the top. Right back to the side control. Just a dominant grappling display. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Seconds now to go in round one. 20 seconds to go in round one. He got tagged there. All right, there's the clapper. 10 seconds to go. Okay. Round two next. Up, and there's up. the horn. Confidence has to be high after that round. Really good round there from St. Pierre. Yeah, that knock. Here we are, early round two. Now starting off this round, he might still be hurt. He's gonna wanna look to be defensive and move and avoid getting hit and try to recover. Georges St. Pierre is an incredibly well-rounded fighter. Fantastic wrestling, black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, world-class striking. He literally has no weaknesses. Oh, that's a Looks like he's got that arm bar locked in tight. Now it's deeper. This arm bar looks nasty. He might have to tap any second now. And he's free. That was a deep arm bar. And he's maintaining control in the top position. Moves to half guard. Full mount. Half guard here. pass. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. 
under three minutes now to go round two. He blocks the punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. That one hurt. And there he swung with a haymaker. Well, so he gets clipped once again here, Joe, and he continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's keeping his head on the center line. He's got to change things up a little bit here. Just oh. missed with a huge kick. That's in trouble. Big shots! Whoa! Head kick! Caught that one on the forearm. And both guys really throwing with authority. <laughs> 20 seconds to go round two. Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ended. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. Watch this again here. Crank right on the jaw. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. And here once more, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by...